My name is Ian Hamilton. I'm an advancement officer at the CDC Foundation. I was a double major in political science and theater, and currently I live in Atlanta, Georgia. My path uh, towards where I am at the CDC Foundation today really began at St. Olaf. I was really intrigued by, you know, the interconnectedness between all the different fields of study. So I was a double major in political science and theater. From there, you know, St. Olaf really pushed me to question, you know, how is X related to Y? That helped really broaden my interests um, and really take a sidestep over into public health, especially, you know, as I went to do Peace Corps after St. Olaf. And from there, that really solidified my interest in public health, which is eventually what led me to the CDC Foundation. I take it in stride day by day um, because otherwise it would just be way overwhelming. We're still very much affected by the pandemic. It's still going on. You know, they're constantly going back and reanalyzing the data and, you know, informing the public to the best of their abilities um, because, you know, at the end of the day, it's really safeguarding these people's lives. COVID only proved just how invaluable those partnerships are. I studied abroad uh, in Florence, Italy. During my time in Florence, I needed to learn the language and I needed to learn it fast. Um, you know, not only just to communicate, get my point across, but also for survival too. I look at my time in Florence and I say, you know what, I, I really do well in an international context. I just love being dropped in a place and then me exploring the context and figuring out what the rules are, who are the people, what the language is. And from there, you know, that's how I knew you can do Peace Corps. And, you know, in Peace Corps, that's where I thought to myself, you know what, you have these transferable skills, you can go into public health, have no fear. I would tell 18 year old myself that don't stress. I'm very glad that I wound up doing both political science and theater because without you know those essential cross-cultural communicative skills that you know were instilled uh, between those two schools of thoughts i i wouldn't be where i am today and so i would just tell any incoming student at st olaf just be really open-minded to trying out you know that elective that you just thought ah oh, this could be a throwaway but in reality like it might set you off on a whole different path that you might not have even realized was your true potential. A couple skills that are invaluable for working in public health include cross-cultural communication. And again, during my time at St. Olaf, I really fine-tuned that both qualitative and quantitative analyses. Um, I think that you know, they're there to complement one another. Take as many classes as you can related to those hard skills, but never forget just how invaluable those soft skills are too. Another one I would say is flexibility. Uh, you can go into a problem and think, you know, this is, you know, the solutions to this are X, Y, and Z, but at the end of the day, you might be going with solution A, B, or C instead. Those are the three main skills that are really essential in order to really thrive within the public health field.